When you ask a significant other, what would you like to eat for dinner? Most likely, he or she will reply, anything's okay. But the truth is, nah, it's not true, right? Just like when we do integrals, we cannot integrate everything. But if we're talking about derivatives, yes, we can differentiate anything that we want. So welcome to my new series. I will just call it differentiating anything that we want. And this is the first one. And this is what I have for you guys. We have x to the sine y power plus y to the cosine x power is equal to 1. And let's just find dy dx. And if you would like, of course, you can also find dx dy. But here we go. Let's see. We can just use implicit differentiation to find dy dx. And this is how it goes. The problem with this is that this is the function for the base and this is a function for the power. And yes, we can find the derivative. But first off, it would be a much better idea if we look at the x for the base right here as e to some power. And the one is going to be e to the ln x power. That's just going to give us x. And then take this raised to the sine y power, and that's the same as just multiply this with sine y. Similarly, we can look at the y right here and replace that with e to the ln y. So let's go ahead and do that. We have e to the ln y right here, and then we will multiply by cosine x, like so. And guess what? We haven't done the derivative yet, so let's go ahead and just put on the parentheses, and then here we go. When we differentiate e to this, well, this repeats first. So we'll just write down e to the sine y times ln x. And then don't forget the chandu. We cannot do derivative without the chandu. So here we go. Okay, we are going to keep the first function, which is sine y. And then we multiply by the derivative second, which is going to be 1 over x. Done for the first part. And then we add the second function, which is ln x. And then multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative sine y is cosine y, but y is a function of x. So here we will have to multiply by the dy dx. And again, this is actually from the Chengdu as well. So it's that part. Cool. All right. So now we'll be it for the first part. Okay. And let's do the same thing for the second part. And I'm just going to add right here. And we will have e to the cosine x times ln y. And then same thing. Let's just go ahead and use the chain loop one more time here. But it's again the product loop, right? So I'm going to keep the first function, which is cosine x, and we multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of ln y is 1 over y, but y is a function of x. So we multiply by dy dx right here. Cool. And then we continue. We are going to add the second function, which is ln y times the derivative of the first, which will give us negative sine x. So I will just break it down like this. Like this. And then, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is equal to the derivative of x, which is going to be the derivative of 1, which is going to be 0. Cool. And of course, we are going to solve for dy dx. <sighs> Don't you just love this kind of question so much? And let's see how we go with this. Um, Perhaps, I'm just going to distribute it. So we have this, and then that, and then this, and that. Just distribute it. And in the meantime, I'm going to factor out the dy dx. And when you are doing this, do not put down the dy dx in the front and the parentheses, because that looks like to take the derivative. So let me just tell you, this notation and this notation, they are different. Okay? This with the parentheses means that we are going to take the derivative with respect to x. And the dy dx means it's the derivative already. So I don't want to put this in the front, so I'll just put that at the end. So here we go. So let's open the parentheses. We will have this times that, so I'm going to write it as. And what's this, by the way? If we look back, is that, which is just that, right? So I'm going to write this down as x to the sine y power, and then we multiply with that, so we have to multiply by ln x, and then multiply by cosine y, and then we will factor out the dy dx at the end, good. Same thing, I'm going to do this times that, so we will add, and then we will have this, which is that, which is y to the cosine x, so here we have y to the cosine x, and then we multiply by mm, cosine x, and then we have the over y, so I'm going to 
check this out. I'm going to write this as cosine x minus one, and that will take care of the divided by y, yeah? And then of course, we still have this cosine x here. And then we have, yeah, we have this at the end, as I said, dy dx, cool. And what we are going to do next is, I'm going to multiply this and that, this and that, but we will, so this and this and this and that, but we'll kick that to the other side. So this is going to be equal to, I'm going to write this part down first because that will be positive. And um, this is y to the cosine x, cool. And then because of the negative, so it will be positive, and then we'll have the ln y and then also the sine x. And then we will have to do this times that to the other side and that will give us a subtraction. So we minus, this is x to the sine y. And then we multiply by, oh, you see, this has the x for the base and then we have the one over x. So here I'm going to put down minus one like that. And then we will have the sine y here. Woo. Yeah, I wrote it down too big over there, but I think it's okay. Uh, huh, so far so good. And then I'm just going to isolate the dy dx right here. And let me see if I can fit in everything nicely for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, dy dx is equal to, let me just rewrite the whole thing here again. So we have y to the, usually we like to put down the exponential part at the end, I guess, no, hmm. Uh, let me write down the sine x first, I don't know why. Just, let's do it that way. Times ln y, and then times y to the cosine x power, cool. And then minus that, and I will follow the same um, style of putting down the sine first. And then we have the x to the sine y, and then the minus one is after the sine, but it's in the exponent, so that's what we have. And then we will just divide the whole thing by all that, but again, I will put down the cosine y first, and then ln x, and then that, which is x to the sine y, and then plus uh, this first, which is cosine x, and then y to the cosine x and then minus one. As you can see, this derivative is pretty symmetrical, huh? Because you have the, well, it depends how you like to call it symmetrical, but like, yeah, it's like you have the sine, you have the cosine, and then the x and y, so it has a very well balanced thing. So yeah, this is the first thing that I came up with for you guys. We are going to differentiate anything that we come up with. So, um, I don't know what I will do next. Um, you guys can let me know. I don't know why, but like, I have been interested to um, just do derivatives, just differentiate whatever, whatever, whatever. If you have any suggestions, just leave a comment down below and let's see if we can differentiate or not. But the beauty of differentiation is you can differentiate anything. So yeah, that's it.